Well, good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, October 28th. Let's wrap up today um, our look at the story of Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch. Now, when we left off, Philip had joined the Ethiopian eunuch in the chariot. He was reading from the prophet Isaiah. Philip had asked him, do you understand what you're reading? And the Ethiopian official said, how can I unless somebody tells me? And then he asks Philip this question. He reads about the coming Messiah who would suffer for us and die for us. And he says, who is the prophet speaking of? And Acts 8.35 says, and Philip opened his mouth and beginning from that scripture, he preached Jesus to him. He gave him the whole story of Jesus. Now, what's the result? Well, listen, it says this. As they went along, Philip is telling him all about Jesus. They came to some water and the eunuch said, look, water, what prevents me from being baptized? And I love this passage, Acts 8, 37. And Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, and the Ethiopian official answered and said, I believe Jesus Christ is the son of God. So Philip ordered the chariot to stop. They both went down into the water, Philip and the eunuch, and Philip baptized him. Philip uses this opportunity to proclaim Jesus, his death, his resurrection, his only way to heaven. And obviously, this man believes. He wants to identify with Christ. He becomes baptized. It's an amazing thing. Amazing thing. You have the story of Philip and Simon the sorcerer. He makes a quote unquote decision, but it's not real. Then you have the story of Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch. He makes a decision and it is real. Now what's the common in the both? We simply are to share Jesus. That's our job. Our job isn't to decipher whose salvation is genuine and whose isn't genuine. It's simply to tell people about Jesus. Philip, number one, had an honorable reputation. But number two, he had an amazing heart for the Lord. But we're going to see tomorrow that there's a third characteristic about Philip. We're going to see that Philip also had a humble obedience. Let me read what happens. Acts 8.39. And when they, Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch, came out of the water, the spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away. And the eunuch no longer saw him, but the eunuch went on his way rejoicing. Why was he rejoicing? Because for the first time in his life, he understood the truth of who the Messiah really was. Now, I'm thinking if I'm Philip, I'm a little bummed out that God just snatched me away because I just led to Christ, a very important man. This could have some good ramifications for me, right? But remember, Philip doesn't just have an honorable reputation. He doesn't just have a heart for the Lord. He has a humble obedience. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. Hope you'll share this on your Facebook page. Let me pray for you. So Father, I pray today that we might have the opportunity, like Philip did with this Ethiopian official, to lead someone to saving faith in Jesus Christ. And I pray this in his name. Amen. Have a great day. We'll talk more about Philip tomorrow morning's check-in.